the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're doing Masechus Pesachim, the last, the last parak of Masechus Pesachim, parak good, everyone's favorite parak in Pesachim, Arve Pesachim, Mishnah Aleph, Arve Pesachim, Samuch Mincha, and Arve Pesach, before the Mincha, Mincha Ketana, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Samuch Mincha is a half an hour before Mincha Ketana, three, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, a regular day, Le'yuchal Adam Ajitech you're not supposed to eat anything, the Gemara says, you could eat, you could eat fruits and vegetables, but you, you shouldn't have a big meal. Ani, the reason for that is because you should be hungry for the mitzvah of matzah, hidr mitzvah, like the Rav of Abhijahun says, hidr mitzvah is to eat the matzah, when you're hungry for it. We'll talk more about that in a unique explanation of what actually hidr mitzvah is based on this Mishnah. A very interesting explanation. You're really going to like it. Ani should be a straw. Even if you're poor and the poorest person in trouble, you have to, he should not eat on. Well, based off the matzah, we'll see the Dalit Kosos, the Gemara, the Gemara says. He has to lean. He has to lean <clears throat> to different opinions of what has Seba actually is. Some people say you have to lie down on a bed. Some people say you lie, you rest your arm. I, well, I think because you have an armchair rested on the arm, the left arm of the chair. Even if the poorest person, the stuck of the Gaboyim in the city, should make sure he has four cups of wine. Even if he's someone who takes. <laughs> From the Tamkoi. Tamkoi, there's two different types of Aniyam. There's Aniyam that have a little more money, that they basically take, you know, whatever they need for that day. And there's Aniyam that are so poor, they take basically enough for the whole week. Even if he's from the Tamkoi, from the, the, the lowest of the low, he still basically has to make sure the Gabayim, the Gabay stuck, has to make sure he has what he needs for the Seder. He has to have the four cups of wine for every person at his Seder, at least his Barabah Mitzvah. Be is Mazgulo Kos Rishon. They pour for him the first cup, Dalit Kosos, on the Seder night. Basically, it's the mitzvah of Kiddush. Just like a machlokis in Masechus Brachos, about Kiddush on Shab, it's the exact same machlokis about Kiddush on the night of Yom Tov. First, you make a bracha on the Yom, right? The bracha on Yom Tov. And then you make a bracha where I become a band. They say, first, you make a bracha on the Yom Tov. And then you make a bracha on the day of Yom Tov. The reason being, according to Basil, there's two different reasons. One of them is because Tadir Shano Tadir Tadir Kodam, right? Normally you drink wine more, you drink grape juice more than, or if your comes more frequently than Yom Tov. According to Beisham, though, the reason you make a bracha on the Yom first is because um, uh, the day already started, right? The day already started, Yom Tov, and now you're making Barabbas Gopin, so that's the order of the day. That's why you make it, and Basil disagrees with that, and they have another reason. Uh, I won't get into that now, but that we possibly like Basil by Kiddush, and also by the Seder night. You make a bracha Barabbas Gopin, and then you make the bracha on Yom Tov. Stay tuned for Ian Mitzion, where I talk about this unique halakha, Hither Mitzvah, you should be hungry. Usually Hither Mitzvah means you make something beautiful for Hashem. Zekei Levan What does that have to do with being hungry? We'll talk about it. Ian Mitzion, a unique perspective on what Hidr Mitzvah actually is. Ian Mitzion, coming up next.